Welcome to the California Department of Public Health Food and Drug Branch Export Program User Guide. Today we're going to show you how to log into our new EDA system and create a new application for an export document. Start by going to the Food and Drug Branch Export Document Program's homepage located at the California Department of Public Health website. Click on Login to EDA to open the EDA login screen in a new window. You can bookmark this page for future reference. Enter your user ID and password to log in. If you don't yet have a user account for EDA, follow the instructions on FDB's homepage to request an account. Once logged in, your work list will load. Any applications pending user actions will appear in this work list. We currently don't have any applications pending action, so nothing's showing up. To create a new export document application, Click on the Create Export Document Application button at the top of the page. The first screen is the Applicant Contact Information screen. You'll need to select your role as either the manufacturer, distributor, or broker for this particular application. And as the applicant, please enter your information. You are the contact point for this application. You may use the Tab key to quickly move forward to the next field and Shift Tab to move backwards. At any point in the application process, you can save and close your application and then reopen it from your work list. Please note that all email correspondence for this application will be sent to your user account email and this cannot be changed. When finished, click the Next button. Now enter the manufacturer information to be printed on the certificate. The first thing you'll have to enter is the valid manufacturer CDPH license number. This will be checked by export staff, so please make sure that it's correct. If the manufacturer wants to use a DBA name, enter it below the manufacturer name and select one of the options to display it on the certificate. For this application, we're requesting manufacturer-only information. If the manufacturer information is the same as the applicant information you entered in the previous screen, you can easily copy it by clicking the Same as Applicant Information button and that will automatically populate the fields. If the manufacturer information is different from the applicant information, you can enter it manually here. Click Next when you're ready to move on. Now select whether you want the certificate issued to the manufacturer, distributor, or both. If you select Manufacturer, no additional information is required. If you select Distributor, you will need to enter the distributor's information, including a valid CDPH license number. Again, if the distributor information is the same as the applicant information, you can click the Same as Applicant Information button, and it will automatically populate that screen. If you select both, a special wording fee will be automatically applied at checkout. You only need one CDPH license number on each certificate. For both, a license number for the manufacturer is sufficient, and you do not need to enter a license number for the distributor. For this application, we're just issuing to the manufacturer. Click Next when you're ready to proceed. In the Products screen, select the type of products for which you are requesting certificates. Your options are seafood, food, pet food, drug, cosmetic, and medical device. Only one product type is allowed per application. If you are requesting manufacturer certificates only, you may skip this screen without adding any products. We'll be adding a few products to this application. You can enter your products manually or upload a CSV file to populate the product list. For instructions on creating a CSV file, please check our FAQs. Only 25 products are allowed per application. If you have more products, it's easy to copy an application and then edit the product list. We'll show you how in Episode 2. If you check the Upload Product Details Using CSV File checkbox, an upload dialog will appear. Use this to upload your CSV product list. Let's uncheck that box and enter our products manually for this application. Click the Add button to add your first product, and then enter the product name and common name. Click Add to add your next product line. Repeat this step for all your products. You can delete a product by clicking the trash icon next to it. Once you've added 25 products, the Add button will disappear.
You must provide product labels for all products. Select whether the labels are for consumer or bulk products, and then upload the labels. Only one file for product labels is accepted. For multiple products, we recommend compressing them into a single zip file. Once you've selected the file, click the Upload button to complete the upload. Then click Next when you're ready to move on. You must provide a prepaid shipping label for us to use to send you your certificates. Use the Upload dialog as before. We accept shipping labels from UPS, FedEx, and USPS. Refer to the links in our FAQ for generating these shipping labels. Click Next when you're ready to move on. If your browser window is too narrow, the fee calculator will show up below the form. To show them side by side, we're going to expand our window a little. If your screen resolution is too low to properly display everything, you can try to change your browser zoom settings. The keyboard shortcut for this is Control- for Windows and Command- for Mac. You can increase your browser zoom with Control+, or you can reset it to 100% with Control-0. That's better. Now select the countries you want listed on your certificates. Only one country can be listed per certificate, and you may select up to four countries per application, but there's no limit to how many copies for each certificate you request. For example, if you're going to ship these products to a country 20 times in the next year and need certificates to accompany each shipment, you can order all of those copies up front and they will be valid for one year from the date of issue. Select your first country from the drop-down list and then enter the quantity for how many copies of that particular certificate you want for that country. You can enter quantities for any or all certificate types for each of your four countries. Manufacturer certificates will not list any products you've listed. If you didn't add any products in the previous screen, you will only be able to request manufacturer certificates. After you enter a value and hit tab or click elsewhere on the page, the fee calculator will automatically update to reflect the options you've entered. Let's add another country. Hit the add button and then a new line will form. Once again, select the country from your drop-down list we'll get a free sales certificate for Belize. Let's also request a manufacturer certificate for Belize. Let's add another country. One more country. Actually, we don't need that certificate for Bolivia, so let's delete that line by clicking the trash icon. That's it for the countries, let's finish this up. The first time a certificate is requested for a particular license number, a one-time fee of $100 is charged. If you have already paid this fee, check the Yes box, and you must enter the date the fee was paid. This will be verified by FDB export staff when the application is processed. Do you want a separate certificate for each product? If so, click Yes here and the fee calculator will automatically update. The number of export certificates has now been multiplied by the number of products we added to the product screen. Note that since the manufacturer certificates do not list products, the quantity of manufacturer certificates will not be affected by this option. If you want more manufacturer certificates, just change the quantity on this screen. If you have a lot of products, this can add up pretty quickly, so let's click that No radio button. You can choose to get your certificates notarized as well. This option will notarize all certificates for this particular application. The notary fee is $10 per certificate. We're requesting four certificates in this application, so the total notary fee is $40. We don't need our certificates notarized, so we'll uncheck that option. Now we choose our payment method. Applications will not be processed until payment is received in full. Paying online by credit card is the fastest way to get your application processed. Lastly, we have the option to submit special wording for the certificate. Special wording requires an additional fee of $80. This is only applied once per application, and other options you selected earlier may have already applied this fee. All special wording is subject to FDB approval. 
This is just an example and not necessarily approved wording. Click the next button for the final review screen. This is the final review screen. Take the time to review your application because once you hit the submit button, you will be unable to edit the application any further. The general information tab will contain your applicant, manufacturer, and distributor information. The product information tab will show you the products that you've added to your application. Show you the countries and certificates you requested along with any other additional options. We'll also give you the fee calculator to show you the total amount due. Everything looks good. Let's submit this application. Click the Finish button. Congratulations! The application was submitted successfully. All that's left is to pay the fees due. Remember, no application will be processed until payment is received in full. We chose to pay by credit card, so the Pay by Credit Card button will appear. If you selected Check as your payment method, this page would contain instructions for sending in a check payment. Click the Pay by Credit Card button. A new window will open, directing you to a secure payment form at www.myvirtualmerchant.com. It will look something like this. If you do not see this window, please disable your pop-up blockers for the pubhealthapps.cdph.ca.gov domain and try again. Complete and submit this form, and you will see a confirmation page indicating whether your payment was approved or declined. When finished, Close the payment window to return to EDA. We're all finished with the application for now, so we can hit close and return to our work list. The work list doesn't show the application we just submitted because there's no further action needed at this point. Once paid, our application is now in the queue to be processed by export staff. To see an application you've submitted, go to your dashboard, which lists all applications created from this account. There's EDA 1000, the application that we just submitted. Click the View button to see the application. This will reopen the confirmation page you saw when you submitted the application. If you didn't complete the payment process, you can come back to the screen and click the Pay by Credit Card button to return to the payment form. If you submit your payment and get an approval notice from the payment form, you may still see the Pay by Credit Card button on this screen until our system updates its records, this could take up to 24 hours. If you have already completed the payment form and received your payment approval, do not click this button again or you might end up paying twice on accident. Click the close button to return to your dashboard. Thanks for watching. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to email us at fdbexports at cdph.ca.gov.